not say it better than LeBron himself said it on ABC. First thing he said out of his mouth, so honestly and humbly, it's about damn time. I retire, I don't want people to say, okay, you only want because of Shaq. He was never number one, he was never number two. One of the criticisms has been, you know, Michael Jordan's a great player, but he can't lead his teammates to a championship. He can't make them better players. Anybody who knows basketball would say, Ray Allen saved LeBron's legacy. It's like he wants to be crowned with no wings. It's not even at the pace. I was getting brutally beaten up, and I want to minister pain. You know, I want to start, you know, fighting back. Kobe played with Shaq, so because three of those rings came with Shaq, that's going to be held against Kobe to some degree. Before the tip, you didn't even look at your former teammate, Kobe Bryant. Why not? You shook everybody else's hand. Merry Christmas, everybody out there. All right, thanks a lot. There is no way that LeBron James is already a first ballot Hall of Famer. I just need to know why he wasn't finals MVP in all of those. Oh, was it because he had the most dominant player to ever play the game of basketball? This is the argument people will make, and I'm not okay with that. You can put forth there for you know, good thing to be bestowed upon you. you know, that's truly about the game, and in some ways that's about life too. What's up? I know it's been a while since I've uploaded on this channel. Um, I've been trying to find editors to help me with this channel because I'm not gonna lie, I've had like kind of a, a demotivating time in the last like couple of weeks. Um, editing videos like these are super, super long. I used to do compilation videos back in the day and it's funny because those videos took me about 30 seconds to make and they would probably get three times as more views as these ones. I don't understand YouTube uh, uh, very well. Um, it's like the more work you put in, the less views you'll receive. Um, at the end of the day, I don't do YouTube to get views, but I, I, it's still my job. And if every single time I put so many hours and hours and hours into the, those big ass videos and they don't receive the, the recognition they deserve, I, it always, you know, demotivates uh, creators like myself to, to keep going and everything. So um, that is one of the reasons why I haven't been uploading for a while. So I've been trying to find editors to help me with the channel. But like I, like I told y'all, Videos like this takes forever to make and uh, it's it's really difficult to find editors that can recreate videos like this for myself because I'm not going to upload trashy uh, 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 content on this channel because that is just not me. For sure that in the next couple of months there will be a lot more videos than it did in the past. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned, I really appreciate you, appreciate you guys sticking around. And also before I go, I also started a second channel. Everything is going super smoothly on the second channel. so. There's, there's content every couple of days, so make sure you go out there, show support, show some love. It would mean so much to this channel and to me personally, so um, y'all would, would really help a lot. So make sure to do that and uh, don't hesitate to support this channel because we do really appreciate all of the love and support. So I, I will see you guys very soon and enjoy the video. Peace out. Those times when you get up early and you work hard. Those times when you stay up late and you work hard. Those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. Um, that is actually the dream. Why can't I be the best player in the league? I don't see why. Why? Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Kings came down here to win championships. Not one, championships. Not two. LeBron, tell us about that. Not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. I hope he never wins anything in Miami.
could not say it better than LeBron himself said it on ABC. First thing he said out of his mouth, so honestly and humbly, it's about damn time. That's what I've been saying for nine years, seven years on this show. It's about damn time, LeBron. What took you so long? It took nine years and three league MVPs, regular season MVPs. Oh! He hasn't lived up to his championship expectations. He's got to close, he's got to get it done, and he has to be held accountable for crowning himself a king without any ring. It took leaving Cleveland, it took joining forces with a top five player with all-time great intangibles and a top 20 player in Chris Bosh. If they don't get it done this year, if they get closed out in game six or game seven of this series, it's time to break them up. Detonate. Detonate. There is no way that LeBron James is already a first ballot Hall of Famer. I know that as a stat machine, he's the greatest in the game. Just might be the greatest stat sheet stuffer in the world. Ever seen. It's good. You got titles, King James, chosen one. None of the great guys. It's like he wants to be crowned with no ring. The most humiliating superstar performance in a finals I think we will ever see in the history of sports against the underdog Dallas Mavericks a year ago. And this is the greatest clutch shot in NBA history. Idiot. That was it right there. Yeah. So anybody who knows basketball would say, <laughs> Ray Allen saved LeBron's legacy. Tie game with five seconds remaining. Spurs do not have a timeout. Tim Duncan has the basketball for a point blank bunny over a much shorter Shane Battier. And he missed it. And I will go to my grave saying that the Spurs blew this finals even more than Miami won this it's finals. back to back titles for the Heat. The 2013 NBA championship resides once again in Miami. I can't worry about what everybody's saying about me. I'm LeBron James from Akron, Ohio, from the inner city. I'm not even supposed to be here. That's enough. Every night I walk into the, in the locker room, I see a number six with James on the back. I'm blessed. So what everybody say about me off the court don't matter. I ain't got no worries. Congratulations, LeBron. When we talk about legacy, we're talking about 11 years LeBron worth now for LeBron James. We're talking about two and three in the NBA Finals. We're not drawing comparisons here because as far as I'm concerned, there is no comparison with anybody in Michael Jordan. San Antonio is back on top once again. But he doesn't have a big clutch gene, that he has lost all confidence in any late game shooting situation. Obviously they all heard this, this year they, they dominated us from every facet of the game, offensively, defensively. LeBron, you said in February you couldn't picture yourself leaving Miami, do you still feel that way? You know, right now, that's not even what I'm thinking about. You guys are trying to find answers. I'm not going to give you one. You know, when LeBron made that call, I saw a dynasty fly out the window. The last sentence is the only sentence that really matters. The last sentence is, I'm ready to accept the challenge of coming home. And what he means by that is, I'm expecting the challenge to bring a championship to Cleveland. That was the one unfinished business that he's had for this long time. You have to be able to close in order to cement your great. Steph Curry, man, we've been talking about LeBron James being the best player in the world. I mean, are we getting to a point where we might we might have to start revisiting that conversation? Oh, what a shot from Curry! You know, you gotta remember, LeBron don't shoot like himself in the free throw line. LeBron don't shoot like that from three-point range. LeBron can't change a game as, if, as much of a locomotive as he is and the multitude of things he does on the both ends of the floor. I'm actually getting to a point where I'm sitting there saying, yeah, I mean, Maybe I need to look at Steph Curry as, 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 as in the discussion as the best player in the world. LeBron James, he lacked all-time great intangible. He's got all-time great talent, but when it is time to show killer will, I don't see killer will. James on the drive! There are too many down moments that he had that we would never associate with Michael Jordan. But he never has, nor will he ever be, Michael Jordan. James for the win. It's gone. LeBron James at the buzzer. 
not even a debate. The answer is yes, there are things LeBron James can do to become the GOAT, but he's not the GOAT yet. Curry will finish with 38 points. Kyrie Irving will dribble it out. And the Golden State Warriors with a huge win on the road take a commanding 3-1 lead in these NBA Finals. Nobody's beating them. Do they look in any way vulnerable to you? Can someone beat them in a best out of seven? No, I don't think so. LeBron James and the Cavs now in a, in a big hole as they head back to Oakland. LeBron James didn't show up? I don't give a damn about his numbers. 25, 13, and 9 means nothing to me. I will always remember this game as the game where I was looking for LeBron James and he could not be found. I cannot tell you how disappointed I was in King James. My mind was boggled by what I didn't see from LeBron right um, away. What's your mindset heading into uh, the next game? My well, mindset is get one. You know, we got to go out there and play um, um, obviously better than we played tonight. He is not as impactful as he used to be. You're not going to get a 45 point night from him. Those days are over. He's a human being. 41! Back-to-back final game. Major key. They didn't want to see a game six. Well, now you have it. Mama, there goes those men. He's not going to slam dunk as much or with the, the volume he gets. Throws it inside again to Thompson. Tristan Thompson, 15 points, 15 rebounds. Throws it ahead to Smith. Smith, alley-oop to James. He is no longer an A-plus scorer and an A-plus defender and an A-plus this, that, and everything. He is really A-minus to B-plus at everything. And so he's no longer Superman, he's now Batman. Oh, what a defensive play from LeBron James. Finishing touches on a magnificent performance. In the end, we're seeing the LeBron that is 31 is not going to chase you down and block from behind. Oh, oh, blocked by James! LeBron James with the rejection! LeBron is right there. He's probably ahead of Jordan. LeBron is, I think, the greatest player to ever play. It's over! LeBron James is the greatest player ever. Well, that's, that's what I say. I, 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 Greater than Michael Jordan. Yeah, I, I, I think so. All I know is they're the two, two best players that I've ever witnessed. Cleveland! That one so, right there made me the greatest player of all time. For That's some what I felt. Reasons. I'm comfortable saying LeBron is better. There's arguments on both sides. I am, I'm agreeing with LZ. I would take LeBron. I was super, super ecstatic to win one for Cleveland because of the 52-year drought. Like, I was ecstatic. Like, obviously, I showed that, that the first wave of emotion was when y'all ever once saw me crying. Like, that was all for 52 years. Everything in sports was going on in Cleveland. And then after I stopped, I was like, that one right there made you the greatest player of all time. Uh, I have decided to skip college and take my talent to the NBA. With the 13th pick in the 1996 NBA draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Kobe Bryant from Lower Marion High School in Pennsylvania. This guy is 200 pounds. That's six foot six. He is an offensive whiz. He's very, very talented. He has all pro moves. And when you, you look at him, you're talking about a young man with range. He can go off the dribble. He can get his shot. And in every place that he worked out, nothing but raves. No one talking about any shortness or a weakness in his game. This kid has got it all. Has to put it up with the buzzer. Banks it in. Oh, he banks in the three. And the Lakers win the game. Has Kobe Bryant always been the best player on his team? If I had to start a team, I would take Shaq instead of Kobe. He was playing with Shaq, giving him a better chance to win those first three championships. Yeah, he lost Houston. 
Because then he came out here and joined the Lake Show and uh, put us on his back and carried us all the way to a championship. The Lakers are on their way to a sweep. 33 points for Shaquille O'Neal. Because he won five titles. He won five, Joy. I just need to know why he wasn't finals MVP in Shaquille all of them. Shaquille O'Neal, no question, the most Oh, was it because he had the most dominant player to ever play the game of basketball? Yeah. Was There's a lack of appreciation for Kobe in this respect. Uh, Kobe played with Shaq, so because three of those rings came with Shaq. Say, listen, if, if this is the conversation, I don't want this conversation. When I retire, I don't want people to say, okay, he only won because of Shaq. That's going to be held against Kobe to some degree, which almost justifies why he had the sensational appetite to prove himself uh, away from Shaquille O'Neal. He didn't want to appear with him for the rest of his career because he didn't want to be, you know, identified with just him. He wanted to establish his own aura of defensibility and what happened. 81-point game, 55 in the second half. Ladies and gentlemen, you have witnessed the second greatest scoring performance in NBA history. The Lakers have notified the league Ryan will wear 24 next year. Lots of talk this week after Kobe passed Shaquille O'Neal about who the greatest Laker of all time is. I will take LeBron James all day, every day, and twice on Sundays for the first 46 minutes. But with the game on the line, uh-uh. It's a whole bunch of players that I would take ahead of LeBron James. And Kobe Bryant would be one of them. Lakers for the win. Kobe going up over Bell. Fall away. Yes! Yes! Magic never won without Cal, right? Michael never won without Scott. So, but here I am getting stuck with this argument. This is the argument people will make, and I'm not okay with that. Behind his shoulder, throws it over his shoulder, no look, and gets it. <laughs> Never saw the rim. Mamba, 79, 51, as good as you'll ever see. destroyed a franchise. His narcissism and selfishness destroyed a franchise. Less than five from way outside. Got it! Oh, man! With 2.1. The of the 2009 NBA Finals, who averaged 32 points plus, who averaged almost six rebounds and seven assists, Kobe Bryant. Here, take me to the promised land. LeBron is not somebody that's going to be on that list most of the time in a lot of people's eyes. And nobody is going to question that Kobe would be on that list. Back out Bryant, shot clock at seven. Bryant leads, falling away, puts it in. And the Lakers take a one point lead with seven points. You'll never be Kobe Bryant in LA. You'll never be Kobe Bryant in LA. I think there has been nobody better than Kobe Bryant. I think with the kind of will to win. But I think Kobe is more skilled than any player that's ever played that I've seen. a student of the game, worked harder than anybody else, including Jordan, to do what he did. That's why I think Professor, he's the greatest of The game of basketball has been everything to me. My refuge, my place I've always gone when I needed to find comfort and peace. I hope that it's given the millions of people that I've touched the optimism and the desire to achieve their goals through hard work, perseverance and positive attitude because limits like fears are often just an illusion some of the people who know this game best say that perhaps you're going to be a beautiful big guard how do you feel about that well hopefully that could come, that become true uh, i'm not looking forward to going in and trying to uh, live up to everyone else's expectations i just want to go in and contribute the best way i could Jordan, look at that. Holy the God. chicago bulls Pick Michael Jordan. University of North Carolina. Michael Jordan from North Carolina, the number three pick in the NBA draft. You know, a lot of pressure's been bumped the bear on this young man's shoulder. Jordan.
Pistons had overtaken the Celtics as kings of the Eastern Conference. And they're rolling along just as the Bulls are really starting to emerge. We finally got over the hump of losers mentality. We were starting to become a winning franchise. We all felt that we were ready to beat the Detroit Pistons. Chicago was the only team to beat the Pistons in the playoffs last year. I felt like we were in a position oh, to, to win. Yeah. Three seconds to go, and Detroit has one more chance. We knew Michael Jordan is the greatest player. We had to do everything from a physicality standpoint to stop him. And all of a sudden, there was this little team in Detroit who just messed up the whole story. They made it personal. They, they physically beat the shit out of us. This is a Jordan rule. Every time you go to fucking basketball, put him on the ground. Oh, they didn't preach it. They didn't brag about it. But it was on display. When he comes to the basket, he ain't gonna duck. He's gonna hit you. He's gonna be on the ground. Now look at the Jordan. This is Sally and Rodman collapsed on Jordan. And Jordan is still down. They had finally figured out, to some degree, how to contain Michael Jordan. We tried to physically hurt him. Jordan's foul line, room in the lane. Isaiah grabs him and fouls him. Have a lot to be proud about, Hubie. We've talked about him, but the Pistons go on. Congratulations to you, the Pistons, and the city of Detroit. Nothing but another world championship will do. And they, the Detroit Pistons, will meet the Portland Trailblazers in the best of seven, beginning Tuesday night on CBS. What's your emotion now, Michael? Sadness? Uh, frustration? No, sad. I'm disappointed, you know, because I wanted to go further. But I got to accept the season that we played. We had a good season. We got this far. We got to look forward to next season. That's the only thing we can do. And the game's over, and the Pistons have won the World Championship. Back to back. One of the criticisms has been that Michael Jordan's a great player, but he can't lead his teammates to a championship. He can't make them better players. My energy started to gear towards my teammates and pushing them to excel. I'm not going to be uh, the type of person who's very hungry to, to lead the league and scoring once again or to, to chase individual accolades. Right now, I'm more or less geared towards team success. I was getting brutally beaten up, and I want to administer pain. You know, I want to start, you know, fighting back. Just be strong. You know, we're going to beat these bullets. In 91, the Bulls were determined to be the tougher team. The pain of losing to Detroit again the year before brought a fury into that season that they had not had. Jordan knocks the ball out of bounds. No, he didn't. He saved it. Being around Michael every day like that, it just brought it out of us. It was time for us to become the top team in the game. And Ruffin and Jordan going at each other. I had ever been swept in, in the series. I was normally the one doing the sweeping. Pistons wasting no time in getting out of here. Now a timeout was called. They left the bench, although the seven and nine, ten seconds remaining. The Pistons just left. 
straight up bitches. <laughs> That's what they walked off like. All you gotta do is you go back to us losing in game seven. I shook everybody in. Two years in a row, there was a certain respect to the game. No matter how much you hurt, we knew we were there. So already, we got past them. And that was the most, that's, that to me, that was better than, you know, in some ways, winning the championship. The locker room, their season has concluded, while the Chicago Bulls advance to the NBA championship round. And the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship. The police have refused any comment. Four people have been arrested for stripping and stealing the elder Jordan's car found last week in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Jordan's body was found August 3rd. The Jordan family has released a statement saying they are shocked by the sudden loss. They're withholding further comment while the investigation is underway. What is still unclear and will be for some time is what effect this tragedy will have on Michael Jordan and his future with the Chicago Bulls. Jordan has earned the admiration of millions of fans worldwide. And there's no shortage of them in the Richmond area. Just like most fans, Anthony Solomon was shocked by Jordan's decision. But after the news conference, he says he respects that decision. He calls this a sad day for basketball because a giant is stepping away from the court. Picture this now, bottom of the ninth, bases loaded, three and two, Michael Jordan takes one out of the yard. Michael Jordan got what he wanted. The star of the day, the world's greatest basketball player, trying to make it in a major league. There's going to be a capacity crowd today, or close to it. Everybody who came to the ballpark today came to see that man you're looking at right there. One day, he called me and said, hey, I'm in town. What are you doing? I was like, I'm about to go to practice. <laughs> like, you know, the, you know the routine. I was like, why don't you just come over, say hello, everybody would like to see you. And I started telling him, you old, you've been out of the game, you can't play no more. I'll kick your ass right now, <laughs> more or less. First, it was a joke. And then before I knew it, we were playing a full one-on-one. -on -one. So I gave him the pen and paper, and he just wrote. That's all you needed to say. I'm back. That's all Jordan said on Saturday. That was really all Jordan needed to say as his 17-month retirement came to an end. He will be back on Sunday when the Bulls play the Pacers. Any media person I see in person for the rest of my life who try to tell me LeBron's in because of Michael Jordan, I'm just going to slap the hell out of him right on the spot. Shot clock for the ball. Michael going to work. What everybody's saying I am, I never had the chance to compete against other legends that, that was prior to me. Um, when I hear it, I cringe a little bit because, you know, it's, it's a little bit embarrassing because no one knows, you know. I never had the chance to go to them to play this. Is it away by Michael Jordan? It's not close enough between Michael and anyone else to really have the conversation, let's be honest. Michael Jordan is the greatest player to ever put on shoes and play in our game. No doubt about it. Open. Chicago with the lead. But that may have been the last shot Michael Jordan will ever take in the NBA. The Chicago Bulls have won their sixth. NBA championship, and it's their second three-peat. He's not going to say, hey, I'm the greatest player that's ever lived. That's not who he is. He's never been like if that. If that's the last image of Michael Jordan, how magnificent is it? But he let his game speak for itself with how he practiced, how he approached the game, and then how he played the game, both physically and mentally.
Step on the beat.